My engine temperatures are really high and I don't know why. And something doesn't feel right either. I'm not sure if the engine's misbehaving or the uh, door. Hey guys, Rich here, and today we're going to go over and see how much we can fit into a mall. Uh, specifically, my buddy Austin, who I did a BFR with a couple weeks ago, is cleaning out his hangar and has an old furnace that he wants to get rid of, and I can use that in my hangar. So I'm going to go over there and see if we can't fit that in the back of the mall. I have no idea if this is going to fit or not. Uh, I know we've got those two big cargo doors, and I've got the feet out of the back, so we'll see. Spring has definitely arrived here in the Midwest. Trees are starting to leaf out. I've spent the last few days uh, moving rocks with an excavator at the farm, getting things cleaned up before it gets too hot out. Definitely sweating a bit with the sun out today, but it's not too bad. It's uh, 23 Celsius, so we have hotter weather to come for sure. With the warm weather comes the summertime hobbies. A bunch of guys out riding their motorcycles on the way to the hangar, and a few of them down below me now. Slight traffic, one whiskey tango, left downwind, runway 18. Slight traffic, one whiskey tango, train final, runway 18. Slight. Set it on there, you can get out of the way. Maybe. Okay. Slow down. Yeah, I got the switch. Okay. The switch is clear. Alright, so the weight's all resting on the sill now. Just about to clear the corner. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I thought that stuff would be okay, but I guess not. Felt it. I didn't see it. So presumably scooped down, so it's facing over the seats. Yeah. Okay, I'm good over here. We're running on the front cam, so we don't have any further to go there. We're close. Very close. You got it for a second? Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll jump over this side. So we need to go up. Man, this is close. It's you need an inch on this corner. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take it out for a second. Hang on. I, I think we're there. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so, yes. Oh, it's the seats in the way now. Okay. Did you? In there. Perfect. Just fly home like that. Yeah. I mean, I've got a fresh seat car, <laughs> so I'm allowed to make judgment calls like that. Right. Who signed off? Hmm. So it's getting this lift over is what I'm worried about. Thought lifts in I see. I'm learning HVAC on the fly. Binder. Alright, go. 
This morning I was supposed to be recording a quick video for this product Plane Perfect has called One. The idea of the video was to show the product on the plane, then clean the plane with it, and show the difference between the before and after shots in terms of how clean it was. Unfortunately, the product works so well that I couldn't actually do the after shot because the product wouldn't stay on the airplane. So after being frustrated for a few minutes, I realized that this itself was actually a pretty compelling testimony about the quality of the product. The name One comes from the fact that it's designed to be used on any surface. So you can use it on your leading edges, on your windshield, on your cowl, on your fuselage, whatever you want to. One product, all surfaces. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. Spec traffic one, Whiskey Tango, departing 36. Future Rich here. I'm going to narrate my thoughts since I was too busy doing other things during the flight. At this point, you see me scanning the panel immediately after takeoff. The engine is misfiring and the EGTs are in the red. I'm looking around to see what else is going on. Nothing is obviously wrong, which reassures me and worries me at the same time. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> now shit. While Austin notices the derriere in the area, I make the decision to stay within gliding distance of the strip and start to share what I'm seeing with him. Select traffic one whiskey tango, staying in the pattern. So my engine temperatures are really high and I don't know why. Okay. And something doesn't feel right either. I'm not sure if the engine's misbehaving or the uh, door. Could just be all the drag from the... Yep. But why is the engine so hot? Oil's good. Fuel is basically good for this power setting. Stock traffic, one whiskey tango, left face, uh, three six, stock. Cylinder one is the one that's usually hot. Okay. So the fact that it's coming back down, has me less worried, but... What do you consider hot? Uh, I just go by how it was programmed. Okay. So the fact that uh, this is uh, 450. Yeah, because I try to run to between 1450 and 1500. So that's a pretty normal tap For the EGTs, I'm looking at the cylinder head. Oh, sure, but even that I try to keep under 380. Yeah. So, I mean, they all look... For, for my engine, they look okay, but... Well, actually... For the EGTs... Yeah, the cylinder heads are fine. Why are the EGTs so hot, though? Well, that would be... On a cold day, I would say it's because you don't have enough mixture to push in, but it's a nice hot day, so it's high density altitude, so yeah. that doesn't make sense. But oh, you're right, the cylinder head is the important part, and that's fine. Number three is through the roof. Yeah. I think that engine's skipping, too. I don't think that's just turbulence from the... Yeah, I, I think it's misfiring. Uh, Joel's runway below us if we need it. Yep. Seems to be happier with more throttle. Yeah. More air. It's not consuming enough fuel either right now. Okay. Full throttle, full mixture. It should be in the 20 range. And that explains why the EGTs are high. Sure, yeah. Do I try the boost pump? Select traffic, uh, one whiskey tango. Final runway 36. Suck. Oh, no, there's. <laughs> well, I did notice you brought the throttle way out, and it still, still didn't drop fuel flow, so you're definitely not getting full fuel at full throttle. You are bad luck for me. <laughs> you're not joking. If it makes you feel better, I'm bad luck for me too. <laughs> I broke your headset, broke your end. Yeah, shimmy on the teal wheel that wasn't there before. I'll get out and it'll work fine. <laughs> Something's funny. What could be funny in this? 
What could I, let's start with what I could screw up. What could I have screwed up? Eggs are on both. Eggs are on both. Fuel injected. Run low lead, you can check both mags, see if they're, uh, one's fouled. Hey, I've done that already, but... I did it earlier today, but... Yep. Uh, is that one grounded? Right mag even grounded? Or is it on all the time? I didn't see a drop. Okay, it did drop. Yeah, just a little so, bit. It took a second, yeah. Okay, that's a normal drop. Well, it feels like the mixture. Like it wasn't getting enough gas, right? Yeah. Same thing. EGTs are going up. The uh, fuel burn is not where it should be. Yeah, if this is accurate, then that's the problem. Because at that setting, I should be 16 or 18, right. something like that. I mean, and the temperature would make me think that it's, it's the wrong temperature to be having this problem. If it was really cold, I would expect this because you just don't have enough mixture to put in for the density. Sure. But on a hot day, that would, should be working in your favor. I, I can't think of anything else that I could have done. I'm going to look, see, I don't smell fuel. I don't think there's a fuel. Yeah. Uh, so we've got everything pushed back in the hangar and we have a theory. So all six cylinders were getting hot and we know from the fuel meter that not enough fuel was getting put in there. So everything's just running way lean. Because it's all six cylinders, we suspect it's not a clogged fuel injector, because that would be crazy for all six to have a problem at the same time. So it has to be something upstream of that. It has to be something with the fuel pump or something like that. So the hope is that it's something to do with the fuel mixture knob in the cockpit and how it's connected to the fuel servo or the fuel servo itself. So what we're gonna do is take the cowl off and check and see if we have full motion stop to stop on that servo. Uh -huh. oh, that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Okay, well that was super disappointing. So we thought that that might be the problem. It's got full range of motion, seems to be working fine. So I guess it's gonna sit here and we'll get my a &P out to look at it and see if we can figure out what the problem really is. Okay. So in this Venturi, a bug met his demise. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's our little bug. And we think that that's the problem. Air through the Venturi changes the output fuel pressure. That's it. I'm pretty confident in that. Looks gone. Everything's put back together. Time for a test flight. Fuel came up nicely. So traffic mall uh, one was continued departing runway one eight. Suck. Okay, fuel burn is where we expect it to be. Engine temperatures are where we expect them to be. We are all set. Love it. Looks like traffic, one whiskey tango, left base runway one eight, low pass, stuck. Wing wag to let my uh, partner know what we're doing. And now we are off to Iowa County. We have a tree farm right next to our farm. This time of year, it's really easy to pick out the tree farm amongst the rest of the older growth forest because the tree farm is all the same age and all the same species in lines.
Figure it out. Yep. Can you stand it up?